there and and go and watch uh, some of those replays, listen to some of those replays in the, in the, uh, the Cool Buzz, www.thecoolbuzz.com. I have my uh, new friend, uh, Anil uh, Kanapadenhade with me, and uh, he's in uh, South Carolina. Um, he is, uh, it looks like we're getting ready to start here, but I'm gonna wait for just another minute. Again, drop a comment down below. If you get any nuggets in this call, if you like something that you hear, put it in the comments for other people to benefit from. Share this broadcast if you can, uh, and down below, um, type in um, uh, what you're excited about. That would be really great. So tonight, I've got my friend Anil Kanapadahade with me, uh, and the way this all happened is I sponsored Gary Allen a couple of years ago, two and a half years ago. Gary sponsored Brian Perez. You see Brian all over Facebook all the time. They're all in the real estate business. Uh, Brian gives some great tips, and then Brian. Uh, introduced uh, this business to Anil and um, he didn't get he didn't see it right away in fact it was 18 months from the time he heard about send off cards for the first time uh, it was 18 months uh, before he really started building the business but he signed up to use send out cards about a about a year ago and uh, he used it for a while and then about 30 days ago he decided to start building the business I'm gonna let him correct me if I'm not getting the numbers exactly right but um, he's a real estate investor first uh, he's also a realtor with Keller Williams, and he capped out their plan uh, very quickly. Uh, and um, we met for he was in Vegas with his wife, um, Jay Sh Jay. Uh, wait, uh, oh, Jay Shri, Jay Shri, is that right, Anil? You're absolutely, abs absolutely right, sir. All right, Jay Shri in Vegas. Um, they 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 stayed at the Mandalay Bay, and I came over, and Gary came over, and we found this really cool Irish pub. Uh, which is a story in and of itself, which I won't get into. I really, really, really pissed off the waitress, but I won't talk about that. But then she, they, she liked, she did like me afterwards, didn't she? Anil, you, you did it. As, that's what I said. First time, second time, you know, third time you crushed it. Correct? He's a fan <laughs> of yours now. Yeah, we're friends now, so it's all good. If I go back in there, uh, I'm sure she'll be nice. So, uh, as I mentioned, Anil, Anil set up ten referral partners and 10 premium or enterprise accounts. That's 97s or 147s in his first 30 days. And he also signed up a whole bunch of 17s and free accounts as well. And one of the things he said to me while we were at dinner is he said, Brian told me sometimes it takes a while to sign these people up. And he said, I'm gonna sign them up on the spot. And so Anil has been signing these people up on the spot. And I said, well, Anil, you gotta tell me how you did that. And he shared it with us at dinner. And I said, you know what? I would love to have you as a guest on the call. And Monday night, and he said, sure, and I could tell you were a little nervous about that, weren't you? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I never expected this will happen. Yeah. Emil was a little nervous, but I said, just tell, tell everybody the way you told me at dinner what you do. Like, I, I'd like you to first correct me if I screwed up any of, the, any of your introduction or the, or the numbers, but then tell, us, tell everybody a little bit about you know, how you – signed up 10 RPs and 10 premiums or enterprises in your first 30 days of actually working the business. Go ahead, so it's you. First of all, thank you very much, sir. And first of all, I just want to take a minute to tell about Jordan, can I say, I really want to, you know, travel every day, how hard, you know, his schedule and, you know, super tight schedule, and he is in life, correct? Irrespective of all that, he takes time to meet my wife, Jayasri, and me, okay? And I want to thank uh, Brian and Gary for the super perfect coordination here. Okay. I have one request to all of you. If you are offered a meeting with Jordan, you don't ask what time. You just give a wide open schedule and let him pick. It will change your life. Thank you. Thank you for that, Anil. I really appreciate that. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, numbers are perfect. Sir. So me and Brian met uh, around 18 months before in a brewery. And, uh, you know, we are chatting. He was in, from a different company. I was from a different, both are from realtors, correct? So he told about some, you know, something about uh, some networking too, correct? So I am, as I mentioned to you, I'm a very easy buyer. So I told Jay 3 okay, I met Brian. He's my friend, but he's telling something about something. Okay, that's all I know. And I know that I will buy it if I meet him alone. So I told Jay 3 let us meet him together and let him explain it. Correct. So it is 18 months before. So he did explain to me and I did understand that. And as usual, me and Jesse came back, we sat on it for some time. 
So I think it took around uh, four to five months uh, before then I called uh, Bran in one of my open house and told Bran, I think it, it, it may work for me now. I know that I sat on it for four to five months. So I think it's around one year before uh, when I joined KW, that's when I called Brian to one of my open house and I joined the uh, marketing bundle, the old version of the, uh, the send out card, correct? Yeah. So that is when my KW story started, correct? So I joined Keller William almost a year before and me and JSC, my wife, put a target that I'm from a banking industry, just to you know, back out you know, one step. Uh, around 20 plus years in banking, okay? Uh, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, GMAC, all those. So my passion is in numbers, correct? I want to have multiple stream of income in passive, not you know, active work. So that's when I am predominantly a real estate investor, not a realtor, correct? So when I joined KW, me and Jay Sri put a target that in six months we want to cap. I think most of you realtors will understand what cap means. It depends upon the industry, oh, sorry, franchisee to franchisee, the amount will change. And in one year, we put another target, how much money we want to make from real estate, okay? So I was using send out card from I think the month one after joining KW after meeting Brian, correct? I was exclusively using KW to send to all my friends, correct? All my friends, irrespective of whether they will give me business or not. All my friends, relatives, you know, sending it to India. I'm originally from India. I moved to here in 98, correct? I sending all over the world, my friends. So a couple of things happen, correct? When you send a card. First of all, I'm not telling the whole world I'm a realtor. So I have my profile on the back of the card. So a couple of things that they will know that I'm in real estate at least. Correct. So uh, short story is thing. I'm here after almost October was my anniversary in real estate. So in one year we capped in six months and well surpassed my target, which I put it in real estate, how much I should make in my first year. So this is first year plus one month I capped and well surpassed my target. That is even after one full month of family vacation in July. That is the summer and that is a peak of real estate. So I took a vacation to travel with my wife and two kids. Right? So that's when I really thought send out card is really working. Right? Because whenever I get a call from a person, I will ask, you know, how do you know about me? Right? Like if I, if I don't know the person and making a call to me, I will ask them. So then I realized that 60 to 70 percent of my real estate business came through send out card. Wow. Correct? Wow. So I track because I track, I do Facebook advertisement, I do you know email blast, and I do send out card. So 60 to 70 percent of my total one year business came through send out card. That's when me and JC told boss, this is something I should have concentrated also. Correct? This really works. Correct? And I called Brian again. I told Brian, this is October, one year is over. I am, I am okay, perfectly okay with the uh, real estate, correct? Now let me see whether I can do send out card, correct? So what to do and how to do this thing. So I had a brief meeting with Brian and I think it's uh, November second week to December second week. That one month we enrolled, I think 10 RPs. Most of the RPs are either 97 or 147 and around five to six customers. That is the story of send out card. Uh, in that how, did you do, how did you do it? That's a great, great overview of, of your progression. But how did you actually do it? When you meet with somebody, what do you say to them? What do you show them? Okay, so uh, most of the, not most, all of them already received the card, right? So whenever they ask about send out card in the last one year, I was just not explaining properly. I was just converting the real estate lead and I never showed them anything in no demo about send out card. I was hell bent on my real estate business. So last one month I can, whenever they ask me about real estate, sorry, send out card, I asked them same thing like what you and Ryan Gary told that when do you have that, you know, few minutes of uninterrupted time, correct? So either I'll do a face to face or a Zoom call. But the only change I do from all of you showed me is I shared their laptop, not my laptop. Okay. When I meet up with them with face to face, I log in to their laptop. I ask them to log into their laptop 
when you uh, said, let me stop you for a moment. When you say you log in, you don't mean you log into your account. You mean you just go to your your landing page. Yes. Yeah. If it is a Zoom call, I'll first uh, start conversation. I'll ask them to share their desktop, not my desktop. Ah, okay. Okay. If it is face to face, I'll ask them to log into their this thing. I'll text him my web page, like you ah. mentioned. Correct. And they already got my card. You have to understand that they already got the card, physical card, and most of the time they'll have their card with them in that meeting. So they know the quality of the card, everything they know. It's a physical card. Okay. So if it is a Zoom call, I'll send them the text, them the link, my link, and I directly go to send card. I don't know to explain any of those. Uh, you have nothing. Send card. Yeah, ask them to click send card. Okay. Correct. When you send a card, I'll go to build your own because they want to see how you can put a picture or how you can put any of those cards. Right? So I take them, I ask them to select vertical or horizontal, that option, correct, the second screen. Then it will say $275 per card in that screen. Correct? That is the time I'll take a pause. Okay? And I'll ask them, okay, now you know it is per card is $275. Correct? So how many cards you will send if this is the quality of the output, then most of them will say that they will send 100 cards. Okay. So you have to listen to that. Like 275, they are ready to send 100 cards. Right? So that is $275 plus $50 for postage. So it will cost them 325 if they send 100 cards. So they are ready to send, even the price is 275 every month 100 cards. Because they know the quality of the card already. Are you primarily talking to realtors? Uh, or banker. I have a couple of one bank, uh, two bankers, and an insurance uh, agent, and all others are realtors. Okay, so these are primarily business people that are used to spending hundreds or thousands of dollars on marketing. And so. Yes, they, they are already sending. Yes. So when the screen shows $275, I'll take a pause and say that, okay, this is the quality of the card, and per card it is $275. And if that is the price, how many cards you will send? Then they say, yeah, yeah, I think I can, I can spend three, 325 per month, so 100 cards. So I don't explain anything that particular time. I'll follow through the further screen, and it will reach a screen where it will say free, correct? Because then I say it's not free, actually, because first card I am paying you. Right? when they send so it will say okay you made a world better place or something like that so right? yeah so you you it, so it says you made the world a better place so you have them send the card and it says free because you're paying for it you tell them you're paying for it yes and just before that one screen before it will ask them to join correct right? so i will ask them to put their email id user id and password so indirectly, they already joined a free account, and they sent a card, correct? So that is when I tell, okay, this is the story, correct? Now, after that, I'll say, okay, you have a free account. Now onwards, you can send 100 card for 325 or 1,000 card for 3,250, correct? It's per card charge 325. So then I'll explain the $17 and $97 and one for, and it's a no-brainer because they are already ready to send 325 Per month, so I'm saying you don't have to spend 325. You have to spend only 97. Right. For unlimited cards. And 100 and cards, 100 cards a month is only three cards a day. So yes. you know, three so, yeah. cards a day, or three nice to meet you cards a day, or whatever. So that's not a, and or all the other things that come up. So that's not a lot of cards. So that's great. Absolutely. So uh, it, 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 it's like uh, that particular time when you have that. 275 screen, that is when I'm explaining the cost of the card is 325 per card, correct? So they are already bought into a concept of spending 325, 400 cards. So there is no, uh, nobody is going to say, when I say it's not 325, it is 97. I love, the way, I love the way you frame that. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's really powerful. And it's not uh, 100 card. If you want, you can send 200 card, 300 card. Depends upon how many cards you can you can send. Because when people, when people hear two dollars and seventy five cents a card, that from you know we come from a different perspective because we're already part of the business. But they think of five six dollars for a card in the store. So when they see two five, yes. that's a good price. 
absolutely and also i am showing it you have to note that you i am showing to a person we already seen the quality of the card right and they already agree that it's because before demo they are ready to say okay they say this is a customized card it will cost you 5 to 6 dollar per card correct and i say no it's not 6 dollar it's only dollar 275 so i already reduced from 6 dollar to 275 so it is 325 per month then wow. i am further down to 97 Okay, so um, Anil, uh, how many cards a day are you sending out right now? Approximately, on average, not holiday, but just regularly. Uh, three. Three on average. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. And are you, are you using the app primarily, or are you using are you using the computer? That that's a good question, Garrett. Uh, majority of the time, uh, I use uh, the computer, and there was one case while demonstrating, he was not. convinced that is the time i took the share from his screen to my screen and i shared my mobile screen correct that is when i told how to send through mobile phone so i just clicked that photo card and same two three clicks i was able to send through mobile and there also he seen that free 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 correct yeah so that is the one person who was little reserve to joining and he joined as soon as i i shown the a mobile version. So, hey, a couple so things far it is some of the comments that are coming in. Oh my god, this is brilliant. This is so great. Loving this call and training. Thank you Neil. And that's awesome and Neil, you're letting the cards do the recruiting for you. I love it. No, no, absolutely. So, because I don't have to because I think most of the people when you show the demo, they all some of them feel that it is an e-card, correct? it's an electronic card it is very difficult for them to digest it is a physical card right i am showing to a demo where already people receive the card correct and they are already bought into the idea of it is a very you know very sophisticated very quality based card which cost them 6 to 7 dollars right yeah that's good okay so let's i want to shift gears for just a moment One of the things when we were yes. driving, I took you and um, Jay Shri uh, for a ride up and down the Strip. So because you guys had never been to Vegas and you were in that no, hotel. this is first time. You were in that hotel for three days and you didn't get a chance to see the Strip. So I thought, other than from the beautiful view from your room, so we um, we uh, got and jumped in my car and with Gary and we drove up the, and down the Strip so that they could see all the lights and the fountains at the Bellagio and the Eiffel Tower at Paris and all that. And uh, while we were driving, you told me that you've sent cards all over the world, and I said, "Well, are they? Are you getting feedback? Are they getting the cards? Tell me, tell them what you told me." So that is one more thing uh, I want to tell the group. Correct? See, uh, I think when I started sending cards, you know, my the whole motivation and brain is Jayshree. Okay, my wife. I don't want to take a lot of credit about none of these. Correct? So she watches me. I report back to her. Correct? So uh, two incident I want to point out about send out card. One, she told me to send to a specific couple when she showed the Facebook. They are, I think I mentioned to you also. They were, you know, in Facebook you will see whether you know somebody started browsing about house and all. Correct. So she told me to send a card. I send a card, one card. She told me to send a card next month again. I send another card. Nothing happened. So. i'm not a you know you know i want instant gratification that if i want to show a demo they have to join immediately i don't want you know <laughs> after one year joining i cannot right. because i feel that i sincerely feel after one year of working in keller william using send out card i think um, it is very selfish for me not to explain about send out card to all my vendor partner and other realtors because all of them in keller william spend minimum 500 to 600 dollars per month including me okay i i i, I used to tell brian saying that you know i used to spend 200 dollars for my website so he did not understand or he was shocked one of those uh -huh. so everybody in real estate correct everybody spend a lot of money so i feel that it's it's not right for me not to explain after one year of you know i'm not saying this is a huge success but uh, capping in the first 6 months and achieving whatever the gross income it's not very common in my branch in keller william here so i thought it's not right for me not to share but i did not share for two reason one i was fully concentrating on keller william business even though i was using send out card i was using my return because i had a 6 month targeted challenge from jay street correct i have to achieve this amount so that's it so after one year i thought 
everybody spend 200 300 400 dollar per month and this i am spending only 97 dollars correct and i am getting this result and so when you mentioned about the overseas when i send the card i send to card all over the world it doesn't matter whether they will give me business or not and in fact a couple of them you will be really surprised where i got business one of them from india correct like lot of uh, software you know it people come from india to here correct so when you send a card like three to four things happen for me one no response correct they will not acknowledge receiving the card they won't do anything that is one category the second category is they will text you saying they hey, thank you anil it's you know very nice of you you taking the time correct the third category is people will know i am in real estate right the back of the card has got my profile and the fourth one is people want to know how do you do this things correct how do you do this super special customized card correct so when somebody receives in india they came to know that i am in real estate because i never told anybody in my uh, native place that i am in real estate correct is not considered a very good job to so for that them, matter did any of them say that they're coming to the united states and they need a home yes that's what i'm saying so when they come to this thing they already told you meet uh, kp kp is my the long last name short form kp is kana padingare so they told them, okay you go and meet uh, anil he is in real estate so i got one closing the person who got a car from india his friend was coming to us so he introduced me to this thing and the second one was this particular family i was sending consistently because of jsv four months car correct no reply nothing and once i was uh, driving uh, me and jc was driving i got a call from this person he told can i speak to anil i told speaking i was so frustrated with this person no response for four months i'm sending four to five cards because of my wife and he told uh, i'm ready to buy a buy a house can you help me i told wow in my mind i'm saying wow it really worked i told absolutely i can and he told okay when you have time and i i fix a time and all then i told did you ever got a car from me I told I got six cards. <laughs> and I told why you never call me. I was so frustrated because I want to know what is the reason you did not call me because it is special. Then he told me I was not ready to buy a house, so I don't want to call you. So what I'm telling to the group, correct? Initially, when the only job we have to do is take time to appreciate people, take right. time to send a card, whether right. it is overseas or because I send card to Singapore, Malaysia, India, correct? Sometimes it takes three weeks to receive them card. so people say that oh no i i i i see one of my colleagues say i sent a card two weeks it did not receive don't count when they receive don't count when they call don't count when they give business our job is just regularly appreciate people and yeah. after 5 6 months every single day one of these four will happen either they will text you back either they will give you a lead and or they will give you a business All right, Anil. One more question. We're going to have to wrap up here in a couple, in two minutes or three minutes. But one more question for you. You obviously, just like Brian Perez, have a very high credibility with your network of people. In other words, the people that know you, they they look up to you, they trust you, uh, they believe you. What is it that you do? You think? What are your your actions that result in that? I think this is what I want to again repeat. Right? Our our life is. very very pretty simple and one of the story i want to tell i if i have a minute extra sure. correct go ahead i send cards to all the realtors correct so one of my other associate friend he told that they are our competitor why are you sending cards to real estate agents i told it doesn't matter correct you never know from where business will come one of the business i came is from a friend of a realtor who my send a card okay you have to listen what i'm saying i send a card to a realtor okay she put the card on her tv on top of her tv correct and it is her family card okay she is my friend realtor okay and they had some party and lot of friends came to her house okay so during the conversation one of her friend not my friend asked who sent this card correct and how did this then she told it no it is my friend anil sent the card correct and that friend called me for her real estate need instead of going to her friend wow so i immediately called my friend he told okay i'm not going to give the business back but i want to tell you this is how i got the lead this is your friend <laughs> giving business to me 
because of a card i sent to you <laughs> so what i'm trying to tell you is you never know and i don't think you should ever expect from where the business comes because i i was mentioning to brian right every time i send these days get every single day i get a text message you know thank you for taking the time to send a card that itself will make your life in a day better forget about what money you are making correct right? because our real estate is a you know cycling afternoon will mean a bad mood sir. so whenever you are in a bad mood send a card correct right? to somebody else correct right? you get text from so many people i shared a video also in the facebook correct right? you know somebody was showing a video and uh, her kid was enjoying the you know running with the mom's card and like so many powerful video i have as a testimony from my uh, customers who received the card good stuff anil thank you so much for agreeing to be on with us tonight i uh, i really appreciate it i enjoyed our dinner the other night with you and your wife and i i'm i'm happy that we met and i'm really looking forward to being on this journey with you Absolute pleasure. It's a real honor, and thanks again for the opportunity. You bet. And stay with me here. I'm gonna just wrap things up. Um, I just want to make a few, uh, just say a few words before we wrap things up tonight. So, as as agents of send out cards, we uh, represent a a beacon of light for a lot of people. We're kind of like beacons of hope, and not just for people that join us, but for the people that receive our words of encouragement in the card. That's why Anil. receives phone calls that's why many of you receive phone calls because we lifted somebody else up and as Cody mentioned we currently have hundreds of thousands of cards a day coming off the printers that will touch human souls all with the wor- uh, all over the world with a message of we we care and as Cody mentioned we're different there's no one quite like us i've known of 20 plus companies that have tried to copy us over the past uh 15 years and most of those companies are out of business. I want everybody to succeed, but most of them are out of business. Uh if it's about the money, it's doomed to fail. And a copy is just that. It's a copy. We're the originals. We're leading the way and we are setting the pace as a company. Send out cards was founded uh in the spirit of giving our hearts to other human beings through the written word. And the holidays bring out the best in people. and the holidays bring out the worst in people. If you've ever been to a mall during the holidays, you know exactly what I'm talking about or in rush hour traffic. Everybody's in a rush, everybody's stressed out, everybody's upset. And then there and it also brings out the best in people. And our job is to lift other people up when they not might not be feeling the love. Uh, our job is to encourage others when they're down and to cheer others on when they're feeling deflated or defeated. So in the spirit of Christmas I wish all of you a beautiful peaceful and joyful filled holiday and I'm thankful for you and I know that you know we don't all celebrate Christmas um but many of you do and uh and uh, this is a a season of giving and it's also a season where people need our love and people need our uh up uplifting words so uh we're we're doing good in the world and that's really the message of send out cards it's a message of kindness that Cody uh talks about in his books and shares on the conference calls each week. So, Anil, uh please tell Jay Shree that I thoroughly enjoyed our dinner the other night and I look forward to being able to spend some time with you uh again in the near future. So, thank you all. Happy holidays. Thank you again, uh, Jordan. Thank you. And everybody enjoy your holiday. We won't be having a call next Monday night, uh but I'll look forward to reconvening with you after between New Year uh, between Christmas and and New Year's. So, I uh, have a good night everybody and we'll talk soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye Neil. Thank you.